Hello everyone, welcome back to another tech video. My name is Luigi and this are the Beats Studio Thoughts. Let's get right into it. So I've had these headphones for the last two weeks and I've tested them every single day basically for the last two weeks. And these are also my very first pair of uh, Beats Studio or Beats headphones. I never got into the big headphones like they did uh, back in the days, like maybe five or six years ago that they had the massive headphones. And these are probably the cheaper uh, and the best option there is for if you're looking for this specific brand. And these are actually quite good. I'm actually quite surprised. Plenty of features, nice sound and a pretty good price, pretty competitive price. So let's get right into it. So the studio earbuds retail for £129 or $149. Uh, very competitive, very similar to something like the Google earbuds or maybe the uh, regular AirPods and some other headphones out there. Uh, it does come with IPX4 uh, water and sweat resistance, so pretty good uh, for working out and probably good enough for like a light rain uh, out, especially at this time of the year. For the price, I think they are quite competitive compared to some other uh, brands out there. They have uh, noise cancellation, uh, they have plenty of features and yes, it's, they're quite nice, they're quite stylist as well and the design is quite cool. So let's talk about the design first. The case is pebble shaped, slightly larger and longer than the Google Earbuds case but still very portable and once opened you can see the earbuds in all its glory. They have quite a bit of a stem that pops out which makes it easy to take out and held by some magnets. Even the case is really hard to open with one hand because of the strength of the magnet. Still very satisfying to close though. Each earbud has an actual button, which is strange, but kind of nice. So the actual earbuds itself have an actual button to control music, to use your voice assistant, and to change between the different modes of transparency mode or noise cancellation. The only problem that I have being an actual button is that every time you press it, you basically are pushing the headphones into your ear more and more. They don't have touch control, which basically you cannot control your um, volume by just touching it or by just tapping it, uh, which is, like I said, it's nice. I don't mind not controlling my volume because especially with the Google earbuds, if I'm wearing a beanie at this time of the year, especially that it's cold, sometimes rubbing with some type of fabric, it makes the volume go up or down or it makes stop the music. So having the actual physical button on the earbuds is nice, but like I said, it's kind of annoying sometimes because when you press it to either uh, call the voice assistant or to uh, change songs, you definitely are pushing the earbuds into your ear more and more. So that's something to keep in mind. So what I'm about to say is gonna be counterintuitive just because of the fitting. So overall fitting of these headphones, uh, they're pretty good. They do fit pretty well in your ear. In the box, it comes with a uh, small tip and a large tip, and then the mediums are already installed within the earbuds and you can change them out. Uh, I have a small and they do fit quite well. They're quite snug, which is great. One thing is, I know this might be but some people might be looking for like a headphones to work out with. Uh, if you're shaking your hair a lot or if you're moving a lot uh, or if you're running or walking quite fast so you have to kind of like keep moving your head side to side, you can definitely feel the stem because uh, they do pop out quite a lot out of your ears. You can definitely feel the stems hit the side of your ears, which it can get annoying. And I haven't really worked out on them, but when I'm walking Ralph, definitely sometimes I can feel it. That, that's something. But if you're not moving a lot, or if you're just walking on a nice and steady walk, you can almost forget that they're there. That's why I was saying it's counter, it's a bit counterintuitive because if you're moving a lot, you definitely feel them. But if you're just walking, I'm kind of like nice and steady, very chill, you can definitely forget that they're in your ears. The sound, it's pretty good. For what you're paying for, it's nothing super, super exciting. They do have the very recognized kind of like sound, uh, themes sound bass, uh, so they're very bass heavy just because that's how beats are. But they do sound quite nice for the price, especially very similar to the Google earbuds. Like I said, just a slightly heavier on the bass. So these earbuds come with three different modes. So you have noise cancellation, you got transparency mode, and you got basically just a normal 
nothing on basically so transparency mode is basically allowing the microphones within the earbuds to let in sound and let in pretty much any kind of sound around you and it's quite okay i wouldn't hold a conversation with someone hold, uh, having them in my ear and having them in transparency mode just because of the fact that the transparency mode is good enough if you are looking to kind of like hear out for cars or bikes or buses or for dogs maybe but if you're really looking to have a conversation with someone you can not really tell what they're saying very well you can still kind of hear very muscle kind of sounds if you have transparency mode and you're actually having a conversation with someone noise cancellation on these headphones is actually quite good especially for the price you actually get some pretty decent noise cancellation uh, it's good enough to block out any cars uh, to block out most noises and then once you put a podcast on and you put music on you definitely can barely hear a thing uh, they're also really good to like work in a busy coffee shop so if you have noise cancellation on and you're in a busy coffee shop with like music around you and people talking like i said once you put noise cancellation plus music you won't be able to hear almost nothing you they still a little bit so they're not perfect because of the price uh, but for that price and having those features is actually quite nice using noise cancellation will bring your battery life down so they are marketed and on the box says they are meant to last between six to eight hours with no noise cancellation and then between three to five hours with noise cancellation and transparency mode because obviously you need uh, the microphones that noise cancellation use for uh, basically use transparency mode as well so just keep that in mind and it gives you 24 hours of uh, charging on the actual case i've had these headphones for two weeks and i haven't charged them since basically i got them so i got them to full charge on the very first day that i got them and i haven't charged them in two weeks i used them about two to three hours a day so yeah i'd say battery life is pretty good for the price so these bots i created by apple because we know obviously apple uh bought beats a few years ago so it means that if you have an ios uh, device or whether that's an ipad uh, an iphone or a macbook they will connect as easily as if you had airpods or airpods pro but they don't have the h1 chip which means they will connect just as easily to your google devices samsung devices or any android devices very very quickly so all you have to do is just download the app and they connect basically right away it took, takes basically two seconds maybe it's probably as fast as it took me to connect my Google earbuds to my Pixel 5. The app though, you're not missing anything. Really, you cannot do a lot of things on it other than rename your earbuds, uh, change between the modes, between transparency mode and noise cancellation, and map out what you want to do on each earbud. So at the moment, I have my left-hand side. Uh, if I kind of long press, I can change between modes, and my right-hand side, if I long press, I can call or I can like bring up the voice assistant. That's about it, no equalizer, no nothing else. That's as exciting as it gets. So app is pretty below average. Well, nowadays is there's not much to it. The only two things missing are on this earbuds, which I found interesting, one of them being touch control on the earbuds itself. Like I said, they do have a button on an actual physical button that you have to press on the earbuds to either skip a song or to uh, kind of stop and play they don't have you cannot control the volume and like i say i don't mind it i'm actually quite happy that you cannot do that because then at this time of the year that you're wearing a lot of beanies and hats and stuff like that uh kind of like the contact with the fabric sometimes make them stop but with these ones that doesn't happen the other thing that they don't have is they don't have wireless charging so it means that uh yeah you're just gonna have to charge them thankfully that like, you can charge them by USB-C, which is great so it will charge nice and quick they claim to uh, give you an hour of charge in five minutes. So an hour of playback, sorry, in a five minute charge. I do miss the wireless charging cause with my uh, Google earbuds, they're usually pretty much right next to my phone and they do support uh, wireless charging. And obviously my Google Pixel have wireless charging as well. So you can basically charge the earbuds with your phone, uh, which is kind of nice, but it's not a deal breaker. I don't mind it. In my opinion, these are really good headphones. You got plenty of features. You got noise cancellation. They look great. They're nice and comfortable. And for only 129 pounds, I think it's kind of a good deal. I'm not going to lie. So these are probably the first pair of Beats headphones, I can recommend you because 
obviously they're my first pair of Beats headphones. But compared to the Google, if you want noise cancellation, you definitely should go for the Beats earbuds. Uh, because yeah, the noise cancellation does make a difference and I'm kind of glad I have it back again. Obviously the noise cancellation not as good as the Bose 700 uh, noise cancelling headphones, but it's pretty good for a £129 or $149 pair of earbuds. And that is all from me today guys, thank you for watching another video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified next time a video comes out. Hopefully the next video will be out in a couple of weeks time so it won't be such a big uh, wait until the very next video. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys on the very next one. See ya, bye! Also, what do you think of this new setup? My big, my living room stuff, we'll see. See you later! <laughs>